And there's the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Just before we join the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief, Monday Thomas joins us this morning to talk sports. And uh, Monday, it's good to have you join us. Good morning. Fantastic morning. Thank you so much for having me, Mercy. It's been some time and you're looking as pretty as ever. Thank you for having me. Thank you as well. But quickly, let's delve straight to the conversation. The Super Falcons dropped uh, five places to become the fourth hit in the world and sixth in Africa in the latest FIFA ranking. And um, we're really behind countries like Russia, who's never competed in a game. I mean, how does that really make you feel when we have superstars like Iwobi, Alex? Okay. Alexa and it will be the same thing. And then Wilfred Didi, <laughs> you want to look at the caliber of players that we have. Then we're, you know, we're just going, going, and then we're just really behind a country as Russia. Who hasn't really participated in sports? You know, what exactly is going on with the super eagles? And how does that make you feel? Well, as a patriotic Nigerian, I'm really sad. But as someone who understands football, I expected this because when we are being coached with uh, a manager who hasn't uh, achieved a lot in football. I mean, every manager needs a chance to achieve whatever uh, they need to. But of course, the Super Eagles is a big job. And when you're taking on a big job, uh, the expectations are very high. The standards are very high. And I must say, Coach Justin Pestaro doesn't match the standards of the Super Eagles. But he certainly match, matches the standards of the NFF because the NFF have brought themselves so low to be taking managers who haven't achieved a lot in world football. I know he, he's got good pedigrees when it comes to training. He was once with a time in Real Madrid. He has been the coach of uh, Venezuela. He spent some time in Portugal. But what has he really achieved? Has he been able to assemble stars? The Super Eagles are a squad full of great players, but quite a shame that we don't have a manager who's got that great ability to assemble these players. Victor Simen, imagine him banging in goals in the Italian Serie A, but when it comes to the Super Eagles, he's not getting those supplies. And the other thing is, the Nigerian players are not as good as we think they are. How many of them get to start games for uh, here uh, club side at this particular time? Wilfred Didi played the first game against uh, Guinea-Bissau, uh, where he was the mess in that midfield. He couldn't make it in the second game. And Nigeria also a team where you expect them to win, they get to disappoint. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with that already. Mercy, when you expect them to struggle, that's where they surprise you. But that shouldn't be so. We are now sixth on the log, 40th in, in uh, the world, sixth in Africa, and 40th in the world. No one is going to respect us, and that's quite a shame for us. So you are saying that uh, the reason for all of this is, is because of the sort of management and coach that we have. That's what it is. That's what it is. We don't go farther than that. And also the kind of players we have. We don't have that quality of players that we, we think we do. So basically, that's what it is. Mm. Okay, so um, let's also look at, you know, the next thing now. And it's uh, also the F Super Falcons, who will commence World Cup preparation with Mexico. And then, of course, if you also look at, you know, the group stage or category, where. are uh, uh, looking up, uh, we're going to be up against the likes of uh, Canada. We're going to be uh, up against the likes of New Zealand and Australia. This team, uh, it's not a joke. They're really not a joke, even if it's the female version of it. If you also look at the male version, it's also not a, uh, a joke as well. Do you see us, you know, making it? We've not made it in the past occasions, so... <laughs> I don't see us making it. I mean, because I don't see it doesn't mean it can't happen. Uh, why is, why do I feel like you're just being very <laughs> pessimistic this morning? <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I, just, I just have to be brutally honest, Mercy. It's quite a shame. The last uh, eight games, the Super Bowl Falcons have been involved in just one week. And the same problem we are having uh, with the coach and the Super Eagles is what we're having at the Super Falcon. Coach Randy Wildrum, quite a shame, but that, uh, that he shouldn't be coaching the the most successful African team as far as football is, women's football is concerned. And heading to a World Cup, we are going to take on the likes of Haiti in Antalya and as well as New Zealand. And when, he, when we get to the World Cup, we take on the host nation, I think Australia, and as well as great female footballing nation as Canada. I mean, I used to expect a lot from the Super Falcons, but I will urge people listening to me right now that they should temper their expectations. I mean, it's the World Cup. We've not had a good record at the World Cup. I think the best record we had at the World Cup was the quarterfinal finish. 
in 2003. I was very young, but I can still remember that game. PC the Brazilian, I don't know how old she is now. Maybe she's a grandmother. She scored a free kick. And I saw Nigeria lose that game by four goals to play. Shout out to the likes of uh, Mercy Akide. They were the ones falling down the Super Falcon at, Falcon at that time. But at this time, we have the likes of Ashisha Roshola, Rangira Jiba. They, was, they are having a great time in Spain. But they certainly don't have a great time when they play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And that's the thing. Mm. But, but let's begin to talk about, you know, the solution. Do you think this is a way forward? Is there any remedy, you know, before all of this, uh, before the Super Falcons actually face the game? Do you think there's also a remedy for uh, the Super Eagles as well before the next ranking? I mean, football, as they say, you're as good as your preparation. They should get their preparations right and ensure that best players are guaranteed of their incentives, bonuses, some level of motivation, because you don't expect someone to leave their club side from Spain. It's the World Cup. I know other club football will be on break. But these players need to know that uh, they are playing for the national team. They are playing for pride. But at the end of the day, they will have food to eat when they get back home. They will have some fancy stuff to buy with the money they will be promised. And these are the things we get to slack on. So I'll, I'll, I'll call on the management to do the right things. Because if we do the right things, form will just follow function and everything will form properly and then we'll have a great World Cup and also the preparations. Get a win against Haiti today later on by 3 p.m. And when you take a take on New Zealand, you continue winning ways. Because football is a game of momentum. When once you lose one game, you can lose the other. You can keep on losing. But once you win, there are chances that you, are, you can continue winning because you've somehow built your motivation, your confidence in, into the next game. So the management talk about the NFL to act right and make sure the girls are well motivated. The coach should employ some great actors. Ashisha Roshola, Rajin Ojiba Dave, we've got uh, Uche Nakanu, these are people who are playing regularly for their club. They will be playing regularly for their club if they were not good players. But what happens when they come to the Super Eagles that has to be on the tactics employed? So right, the right tactics, the management should act right, and the players should be more motivated, and then we'll have a great World Cup. Mm. I remember th those times where, you know, it was quite exciting to be called Messi because you, you had the likes of Messi Akide uh, always playing. And then you probably say, hey, you know, the sauce of Messi. Right right <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the size of it. Thank you so much. Uh, Monday, we have to go. Uh, Cynthia, I apologize. We don't have enough time, you know, to have for the conversation. But we'll always talk about this. Uh, we have to take a break to join the newsroom at nine o'clock. I wish you a very fantastic Friday, a good one of that. Happy Good Friday and happy holiday. Thank you, Mercy, for having me. Happy Good Friday as well. All right, then. Well, uh, I want to say thank you to you for also being part of the show from seven o'clock up until this moment. It has been a fantastic ride for the week. We will return on Monday, all things being equal. Uh, if you missed out on any part of the conversation, we ask that you join us via any of our social media platforms so just to catch up. We're also on YouTube at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram is at Plus TV Africa. Uh, my name is Messi Boko. Have a great morning.